All right, now we're going to look at our power play. Uh, basically, it's a modified umbrella setup where we're trying to move the puck around the top, down to the side, get a shot off from the side, or a cutter coming in from the side with someone down low making that pass. So we'll take a look at that here. Again, it's a modified version of the umbrella. In a standard umbrella, what you do is you basically have three guys up high, two guys in front, and you're trying to move the puck back and forth to just get off one-timers. This guy would be up a little higher, maybe up here in a standard umbrella. And your quarterback would move the puck side to side, try to get one-timers into the crowd in front of the net. So what I want to try to do is modify that actually a little bit and instead of always trying to get three guys up high firing shots we're gonna move F1 down to the wall now one thing to try to keep in mind to make this more successful is having wings on their off wing so this here should be a right-handed shot since he's on the left wing and the wing that's on the right wing should be a left-handed shot now when we start this power play, if this defenseman has the opportunity to fire the puck at that crowd in front of the net, you know, great, we take it. If he can make a pass to this defenseman and he can fire a puck at that crowd, great, we take it. But if not, if those shots are being defended by these two defenders coming out high, what we want to do is we want to move the puck over to the half wall to this forward. And that forward He's going to take the puck here and he's going to look to see if we can make a cross ice pass to F3 stepping out. Being a left handed shot, he'll be on his forehand. He can always move the puck back up to this defenseman and we can go back and forth. So his first look when he has the puck here is to see if he can hit F3 in the higher slot. This defender coming out to play against him should open up this forward. If there's no pass here and this guy is under pressure, this forward will drop down to the corner. F1 can make a pass down to him in the hope that we bring this defender down here to make a play. Once he turns his back on F1, F1 cuts in here. We look for a pass and we try to get off a shot. Okay, so again, F1's holding the puck here. He was looking to make this pass across here. Maybe it's defended. As this guy steps out to defend against F1, F2 is dropping down into the corner here to work a cycle. F1 will drop the puck down to him. As this defender makes the move here, F1's gonna cut in behind him in the hope that we can hit that pass for a quick shot. That pass isn't there because this defenseman was able to get his stick in the passing lane. F2 just comes up out of the corner, comes back to the half wall, and takes over the same position that F1 just had. Now when he gets to the half wall, he's doing the same thing. We're trying to get that pass into the high slot to F3. If that's not there, we can go back and forth with D1 to try to get the defenseman moving. F1 can cycle back down into the corner here. And F2 can drop down and make the cut to the net. So we're just basically working in this small area. Now if we have to, if nothing's happening, we can move the puck back up to the point. D1 can then take it across to D2. And we can move this play to the other side of the ice. F3 will step out to the half wall. F1 will step to this side of the ice. F2 will come in to be the high slot forward. And when the puck is here, F3 can look to make that pass into F2. So as this play moves across, we go D1 to D2. D2 down to D3 along the half wall. Now D3 is looking. If that pass isn't there, and he's getting some pressure, F1 drops down into the corner, 
F3 makes a pass down to F1. When this defenseman looks that way to go after it, F3 cuts to the net and looks for a pass from F1. If it's not working, again, F3 can cycle down into the corner. F1 can drop the puck down to him after coming up. F1 can cycle inside. We can always bring the puck back up to the point, go D to D, and bring the puck back over to this side when F2 comes out. So we can just keep moving the play back and forth from side to side, looking for the good opportunity. And this is the good opportunity we're looking for. This defenseman's too low, this defenseman's too high, this defenseman is covering the net front forward, and we leave F2 open in the middle of the ice. If that play is there, we try to get that pass straight across for a good shot on goal. Okay, so again, as we move through this, if we have the opportunity to take the shot from the top, we take it. We'll have two guys in front. Maybe they get a deflection. If not, if it's a rebound, we have two guys in excellent position to make a play. If that's not there, D1 can move the puck to the half wall to F1. When the puck is on the half wall, the weak side forward is stepping up to the higher slot area around the hash marks, a little below the hash marks. F2 is waiting down low. We're trying to draw this defenseman out. Hopefully open up this pass. If that pass isn't open and there's pressure, F2 drops down to the corner and F1 can hit him with a pass. So here we're looking for that pass. If it's not there and we're getting a lot of pressure, F2 cycles down to the corner and gets a pass. Once the puck is down in the corner, we're hoping this defenseman turns his back to F1 and goes down to play this forward in the corner. When he does that, F1 comes charging in behind him, looking for that one-time pass. This defender may move over to make that play. If he does, F3 can read it and move down this way. And maybe we can get that pass there instead of hitting F1. All right, so you're watching, you're reading your options. You're not just going to take the puck and fire it at the front of the net. You're trying to read the defense, see where the defenders are going, what areas are open, and trying to move the puck into those open areas. Again, if nothing's there, F2 comes up the wall. When we're on the half wall, the weak side forward is stepping up to try to get in position for this pass and a one-timer. The strong side forward is down low by the post, kind of getting in the goaltender's line of sight. None of this is here. When we bring it up to the half wall, we can bring it right back up on top. D1 over to D2. F3 is coming out to the half wall. F1 is coming over to be the strong side forward. And F2 is coming into the middle to be the weak side forward. So we move the puck across down to F3 and again F3 is looking to either make this pass for the one-timer or he's dropping the puck down to the corner and gonna make the cut into the net so F1 has it now F3 is cutting if nothing's there F1 brings the puck back to the half wall again we're looking for this pass if it's not there we can come back to D2 over to D1 and set the play back up on this side. But at the same time, we're mostly just doing this. And a cutter. So F1 and F3 on this side are just changing spots. F1 drops the puck to the corner, where F3 picks it up, comes back up. If the pass across is open, we try to take it. Otherwise, we drop the puck down to the corner, go for the cut, try to make that happen. If it's not working, we bring it back up to the point. Maybe we get a point shot off or we bring the puck, cycle it back around to the other side. All right, so it's pretty basic stuff 
off the modified umbrella power play. Just have to read the play, look to see where the open man is, try to overload one side to bring the defenseman out. Once these defensemen come out too far this way, we're trying to hit a pass into the middle or hit a cutter in behind that defenseman. 